the figure here shows a set of kinematic graphs for a ball rolling on a track. All segments, so segment one, two, three, four, all segments of the track are straight lines, but some might be tilted. Draw a picture of the track and also indicate the ball's initial condition. So uh, this is similar to the problems that we saw in class. There are four segments uh, instead of three, but you know everything else remains the same. So we just have to think um, as if we lived in a one-dimensional world. So the acceleration, it's either positive or zero. Uh, and that means that the acceleration is going to be towards the right, right? So this is the positive direction. Um, I should have marked over here, this is zero. This one over here is zero. And this one is zero. So the acceleration uh, along the direction of the segment, um, positive or zero. The velocity along the direction of the segment is uh, always negative, but sometimes it is uh, constant when the acceleration is zero. And at other times, uh, it is a straight line and the slope of course depends on the acceleration here. So the acceleration here is slower than here. And so the slope here is um, smaller than here, but it is negative. So that means that this ball is moving in the, uh, in the negative direction. So it's moving to the left. So we have to draw um, a picture of the track and also the, the initial condition. So here the acceleration is provided by gravity and it is against the direction of the velocity. So it has to go to the first segment, I'm oh, sorry, the first segment, uh, it has some inclination. I'm gonna make it a little smaller so that I have enough space. And then it is zero. And then uh, it is against the velocity, but the slope is higher. And then it is constant again. So it looks kind of like that. Um, you can say that maybe the floor level is over here. And you know, there's something here that is holding um, on the track. You can give it some finite width. Okay, so uh, the ball starts at some position away from the origin. So uh, it's going to be to the right of the origin since the, the position is positive, well, the S is positive. But then uh, it's gonna be moving, we can use a different color, like this one over here for the ball. And the velocity vector is to, to the left. And it is going to, the, the velocity is always negative. So the series over here. So even at the top, it is still going to have a component of the velocity, but it's gonna be uh, smaller. 
right? So this is the, as let's say final, and this one is called it initial. And E touches zero, uh, the displacement, uh, sorry, the, the position uh, at the end of segment four. So then this means that uh, this is the origin, right? So I think that accounts for uh, everything that we are told uh, in these graphs. I guess the last thing to note is that over here, the, the displacement is a straight line because the velocity is constant. And over here, it looks more like a, uh, like a, well, it is a parabola or a segment of a parabola. And uh, you can see that it has some curvature over here. The curvature here is, uh, the parabola is narrower here because the slope here is higher, the slope of the velocity or the acceleration. Um, so uh, yeah, this is it, thank you.